Hi, Heather Boyd here. I just hopped over from my Heather Boyd Wire uh, live stream that happens every Wednesday and every week from now on I'll be doing a live stream on the art channel at 3 p.m. So as always I'm going to flip the screen so we can get started. There we go. And I'm going to be working on some acrylic painting today and just let me pull up the video on my computer. I'm actually taking a acrylic painting class with my friend Pat uh, every Tuesday night. And so I've been learning all kinds of really cool new techniques. So let me just bring this over so you can see it. This is what I finished last night. And um, this is using uh, masking tape. So that's fun. And I'll explain to you how we did that. I'm just going to grab a sip of water. It's my painting water here. So we've got that. And these live streams are super casual. Hey, Kat, how are you? Um, I'm going to be playing around with some acrylic paint. So, Kat, I just answered your comment from last week. This is the one that I made last week with the acrylic paint. And when I started it, it was, like, not working out very well. But I'm happy with the way it turned out. I did a bit of a background after the live stream. So that turned out pretty well. And I'm just going to do one with the masking tape. So that's the idea today is to play around with that. Hope I have enough masking tape. And um, what I'm gonna do is, what I did in this one first, I did like a warm background with yellows and oranges and stuff, and then let it dry. And then I put tape around it and then did this um, blues on top of that and let that dry and then I removed the tape and then I did these lines with tape so that was fun it looks like stained glass I was happy with it thanks so much Kat and so these are the paints my friend gave me these acrylic paints so I'm going to work on these they're just studio acrylics they're not the best quality but that's okay I'm just gonna I'm really gonna just play around with it today I have um, no real goals except to try the masking tape uh, technique. So I'm going to get my palette out. I've got my brushes and we're just going to go with that. So what I did for this one is I actually just painted a canvas black. So I'm going to start on a black surface. Um, this is just acrylic paint and I'm going to go from there. So just let me take out my paints and then we're going to get started with that. Hi Mustafa, how are you? Uh, Mustafa, I'm doing the, just for fun, I'm going to play around with acrylics and do some masking tape techniques. So this is one I was explaining to Kat that I did um, several layers. One was like a yellow layer and then a blue layer and now the black uh, layer was all done by using tape. So what I'm going to do for this one is I have um you could buy black canvas that's a good idea you could definitely buy black canvas so this one is already painted uh i painted it yesterday so it's uh, but if you could buy black canvas that's super cool i never thought about that and then what i would want to do is use the tape to tape off different areas now i hope i have enough tape here we're going to see and so what i'm going to do is i'll get scissors in case i want to not use up all my tape at once so I'm just going to do that and get my scissors. I thought I had more masking tape than this, but uh, if I run out, I'll go and look in my studio. So we're going to see. And uh, so Andrea is Kat Mustafa. And in case you're not sure, that's uh, her username is Andrea, but she goes by Kat. So uh, there we go. I'm doing great. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. So let me just, I'm going to cut this tape. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just cutting this so I can save tape. I'm just going to cut it that way. And then we want to use this for the border. So... I just want to make a bit of a border. It's kind of like when I do the um, the watercolor live, uh, the watercolor uh, ones. I just make a little border around the outside. So we're just going to make like a quarter inch border, just a little bit of a border. See if we can get it even enough. So there's that. And then one on this side, just to have a nice little border on there. I uh, don't know if I've ever painted on a black canvas. So Mustafa, let me know if you've ever painted on a black canvas so this is something different that um so the the woman that's teaching the class her name is pat morris and she actually does like really 
I'll link up her stuff in the description because she does really cool um, motion paintings. Okay, I'm not getting this on there very well, but it's okay if it's not perfect. Uh, she does a lot of oil paintings, which are like motion in the um, landscape. If you look at Pat Morris and um, Cross, no, Trans Canada series, you'll see her work. It's absolutely gorgeous. A really, really nice work. And you, uh, Mustafa found a strong glue tape is the best for acrylic and worse for watercolor. Aha. Uh -huh. So I've never done a black canvas. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm curious about it for sure. So now, just so I save tape, I'm going to cut this again to be sure because I don't want to waste the tape. So we're just going to cut this down the middle and I'm not going to worry too much about this being perfect because it's very experimental. And actually Pat sent us a bunch of um, videos to look at that are uh, people that use masking tape with acrylic. So I'll try to f uh, find those and link those up below so you guys can get an idea of other things you can do with masking tape and acrylic uh, because it's really fun. I've done it with watercolor before. Uh, that in, in our 10 day watercolor challenge, one of the days we did uh, masking tape and that was, that was really fun. But um, I had never really done it with acrylics, so I like the idea. So then you want to like really smooth this down so it doesn't leak out underneath it. And then what I was thinking to do was just go pretty abstract with it, just for fun, and see what we can do. So I'm going to grab a sip of water. I'm a little bit parched. I'm not sure if it's the best idea to do live streams one after another, which is because I, I did one on my wire channel. So I might be losing my voice, but we're going to see. So we can just, what I did before was I actually just like cut out pieces like this. So I'm going to, um, you know what else I have? I have some, I don't, it's not going to work as well, but I'm going to try it anyways. I have washi tape. Sometimes the washi tape actually peels off. So, but I'm going to try it anyways, just to see. Because I have a lot of it, and um, it's nice and thin. So let's try a little bit of the washi tape for fun, and then we'll see how it goes. So I finished a mini canvas today, two hours ago, and we'll post it tomorrow. Yay, awesome. So now, yeah, I'm just going to take this tape. This is a washi tape. It's about a quarter inch thick, and I'm just going to play around with it. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. So I'm just going to cut pieces and I'm just going to play with it. I really, really do not care if this is perfect because I'm not like necessarily trying to do something specific, but we're just going to play around with it, see what it does. Okay. And then just, it's going to be almost like a kind of a stained glass technique. So we're going to go around here. And I don't think I'll have time to do the whole thing, but I can definitely have fun with it. So this one, we can either tear them like I did with that, or we can cut out shapes as well. So, oops, that one came off. So if we want to cut out shapes, we can just go ahead. Cut out might be cool too, if we just kind of put these in here. Because the last time I did more like torn shapes, but we can do a bit of both actually. So I'm going to just kind of play around with these. I'll do some cutouts and some regular, like this could take a long time. Like if you like meditative work, this is a really, really good project because um, it's very, very meditative. And actually what I'm thinking is I want, I would rather have the shapes yeah, what I would rather have is these shapes to be larger. I'm going to remove this for now. I'm just going to, I just had a thought that I wanted maybe just the lines to be done with the thinner tape because I don't want them. Yeah, what I want to do is I really don't want thick areas of black. So I think I'm maybe just going to go with a washi tape. I think I might just go with a washi tape, see what it does. And then we're going to go from there. And I'm just going to maybe even do just half of the canvas 
because I don't, I'm not gonna have time for the whole thing anyways, but if I just do like kind of half of the canvas and we're gonna just get these lines there and then we're gonna see what it see what it does. So let's just get a bunch of this washi tape and we're just gonna, so if you guys have other things you wanna do at the same time, uh, not to worry about it. Uh, everyone was very generous and supportive in the group. Someone asked me to post something more of my pieces and I don't remember who it was. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, that's for sure. No, we've got two amazing communities. We've got our art community and we have the wire community, which is really, really great. No, I'm so, so blessed to have you guys. You guys are amazing and um, make everything that I do uh, very worthwhile because I love teaching and it's great to learn from each other. So that's for sure. So now we're gonna bring this one around and just have fun with this. I guess I could have done like maybe a specific kind of shapes or something, but I think for now we're just gonna keep it super generic, super simple. And then like, yeah, so if you want to also put like little shapes inside as well, you can. So say we do wanna put like a little, little shapes in there. Let me cut some of these again. I just didn't want these to be too big, these shapes, because we could do like little black shapes and just stick them inside, maybe in here. And this is, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with this, because I'm thinking this might not quite work out how I thought, but you never know until you try. So we're just gonna try this, and then we're gonna have to definitely, when we mix our paints, add white to it, or it won't show up much at all. All. So we're gonna bring these ones in here, in there. Oh, that looks like a face now. I don't want it, I don't want it looking too like figurative. So I'm gonna probably change that a little bit. I uh, see lightning, yes, you're right. It is kind of a little bit lightning-ish. You're right about that. Okay, so let's just take these. Yeah, cause I don't want these looking like a face, but if I kind of like, Maybe if I put five in there, it won't look much like a face. And I have to be careful because um, this stuff is really sticky. So I, that's another thing that I'm learning in the process that it's hard to, um, to put these down without them sticking all over the place. So that's another thing that's gonna be learned here. We're gonna see, and we'll just play around with it. And yeah, there's some other tutorials that I definitely wanna try for the masking tape and um, I'll try to give those a shot at some point. And then, like I said, this you can also rip. So if you do wanna like rip some pieces, you can definitely like, and this is faster. If you rip them, they're definitely faster. The trouble was I was having before was I actually had trouble like finding the tape underneath the part that I painted. Like when I painted this, and I tried to peel off the tape, some of it got lost in there. So I have to also be careful not to do too much of that either. Oh, you know what might be fun too, is you take this, let's try it, and we're going to cut like little, almost like eyelashes, cut a bunch of these, like sort of like an eyelash type thing. Just to be careful, this is gonna, okay, we're gonna cut a bunch of these. I used to make a lot of like paper dolls and stuff. And this is uh, even in quilling. I think I made a quilling project once for you, Mustafa, and I had done like this type of thing. So you could do like, and spread these out a little bit. They're a little sticky now, but we can try this. Okay, I'm gonna go like that around here. It's like sculpting with tape. So there's a lot you can do you might want to get like a little tool or something to be able to pick them up a little bit. Okay, and then this even we could um, maybe just get a pin or something. Hi, Elmarie, nice to see you. Cool. Oh, you were asking for more posts for Mustafa. Nice, that's awesome. Perfect. So there we go. So we're just playing around with these to see what it'll do because you never know until you try and then we can like do few more of these if you want. You could do some little more ones and then maybe just a little bit more of this. And then I'm gonna try 
to see what happens when we add the paint and then we'll and then we'll it'll it'll be definitely an interesting experiment so we're just going to go around here and there okay and around i like sculpting with the with the uh, tape it's super fun so then we're going to bring this one here And then we're just gonna play around with it. And the thing with acrylic, you can layer it. So if I do all of this and I don't like it, I can just like paint over top. So that's totally fine. So now I am going to, Amanda, hello, hello, nice to see you. Amanda, we're just experimenting today. I was showing earlier, I did this in a class, I'm taking an acrylics class and we're working with layering paint and doing, um, taping down areas so this was sort of like a fake stained glass thing so this this one it started with the yellows then with the blues and then added the black at the end and this time i'm starting with black and we're going to see what happens so with a sip of water i'm going to just put a little bit of paint on my palette i want you guys to also be able to see the palette so let me move this over maybe here and I am just gonna get some basic colors. So let's just get some basics. Whoops. I've got some cyan. I like cyan. It's like a primary blue. And then we've got some ultramarine, which is another basic blue. I'm not gonna use too much paint because I'm just really playing with it. And then we'll get a medium, a cadmium yellow. It's just a basic yellow and then a medium red so we've got a little bit of red here and this one's pretty too this is like a violet i like the violet that's nice a little bit of violet and i don't want to do too many colors so let's see what else we have i really like a turquoise color so this is iridescent mm -hmm. let's see what that does like glowy type of thing and then I definitely need some white so otherwise it's not going to show up on the black so here's white there we go and so we're going to put quite a bit of white and I don't want to water down the paint so I'm going to just go ahead get a brush and play around with it so what if we just just take some paint whoop oh, here take a little bit maybe a little bit of the purple too see what it's gonna do and it has to be light enough to show up right so we're just gonna play around with it i really am not sure i'm not good with colors i'm just gonna have fun with it i'm gonna get another red if i can find one this is a magenta so let's get some magenta there we go perfect and but I want, I don't actually want it too, too dark. I'm going to add some white if, if it's not showing up enough. enough. I just want to really be able to see what happens when we put it over top of these things. And like I said, I'll probably end up just painting over it, but I'm just going to have fun with it for now. So we're going to just bring this one up here and just paint around. And then I want to be able to, while we're on the live stream, remove the, the tape and see what it does. Let's see what this does. See, this is interesting. This iridescent paint, I like that. That's very cool. It, you don't need as much white with that one too. We're just gonna just bring it around here, around and around. And I really have to watch some more acrylic tutorials because acrylic is definitely like not my thing and you want to do different like brush strokes as well and then say you want to put some yellow in there we can just put like a little random places and just play around with it and like i said i'll probably just paint over this but i just want to see the effect of painting on a black surface so i really like that iridescent that's cool and we'll go over this and i don't want to go too too um, I don't want to go too, too thick or I'm going to have trouble with the tape. So we're going to go around here 
build it up a little bit and a little bit more red there. There we go. And I'm not even cleaning my brush. I'm just like having fun with it. So we're gonna go around here, around and around, just making a huge mess just for fun. And trying to go in here a little bit. And this is the washi tape. It peels up a little bit, but it's not like too, too bad. So that's good. I just wanna to try to make sure that I have all my areas filled up. And then in here too, we wanna to fill them up a little more. We'll get a little more yellow. And it's a real super mess, but I don't mind. I'm just having fun. And then we'll pull it off and see what happens. And then another time I'm gonna try another one with them, um, with some uh, other like more subtle colors, but these ones are just basic colors. So uh, am I missing something? Uh, what is the blue stuff? The blue stuff is washi tape. Uh, and you could also use masking tape. Uh, email, yes, uh, Musafa wants your email. Okay, yeah, let me, um, let's not put it in the chat, but I can, I can definitely hook you guys up on, uh, one of you uh, write to me and I'll make sure that I'll, I'll uh, link, link you guys together. I don't think you wanna put your email in the chat. So, so that's that, and then you could blow dry it but because I don't have the blow dryer, let's just try to lift off some of the tape and see what happens. So this is the washi tape. So if we just like, see it makes very interesting lines. I'm gonna just remove that. And then we're gonna go in and um, it's better to let it dry, but because I you know, don't have a lot of time, I'm just gonna pull it off and we're gonna see what happens. And that's the fun thing with acrylic. You can just, and even look, look at the tape. I could do something with just the tape. Like if we just bring the tape over here, it's wet. So I'm not gonna do anything with it yet, but we can definitely do something with the tape, like some collage or something. So I'm gonna remove all these little bits and just see how it looks with the black background. And then I'm gonna look for some other projects to do on a black canvas as well because I think it's a really cool concept and cool idea. It ends up looking like stained glass. So this is sort of the opposite of what I did uh, with my project last night because with the project last night I started with color and I added the black lines after. So this is just another approach and you'll see it makes the tape makes very interesting kind of fluid lines. So very organic. Um, I think there's a lot you could do with it. I'm just, I'm thinking my mind's racing, like thinking like doing like string art and all kinds of things. So these are the, this is the tape that I, um, this too, you can take these little bits and put them back on the canvas and do something else with them. So that's, that's the fun of the creative process is I really do not care what this looks like because I just want to play. And I think that's where the therapy aspect of art um, happens is when you really, really honestly do not care what your, result, what your results are. You just want the process of creating. Now it's gonna be difficult to find all the pieces of tape that I put down, but I'm gonna do my best to find them and see what we can do. So Jamie, hey Jamie from Missouri, cool. Jamie, we're just playing around with acrylic paint. Um, I'm taking an acrylic painting class where we use masking tape and I'm just going at it with a, from a different angle and just being very free flowing free flow with it. The trouble is I don't know where I put all my tape pieces. So that's if your tape is too thick, you might have trouble finding your pieces. So I know I put a few in here. So let's try to pick these ones up. And I think I put five pieces in here. So we have to like somehow find those five pieces. Sometimes the sometimes the tape, uh, the paint tape bleeds under the tape. So that's issue. I thought there was five pieces there. We'll have to try to find the other one. Is that a tape? Yep, that's a tape. But I'm not sure where my last one was. Is it up here? 
I think there's one here too. So there we go. There we go. So they're not perfect, but that's, I think, maybe that's all my pieces of tape. This also might be one. Yep, there's one there. I should almost take a picture of the tape first to see uh, where the tape is. So there's that. And then these pieces, if you want, you can always like use these pieces to do something else with after. Like I don't don't know how useful they are. They'll pro you probably would have to like put them down with matte medium, so they're going to stay. Uh, but this is these are sort of like the leftover bits of what I did there. So there's always like those if you want to do anything with the leftover bits. And then just to see what it would look like with that, you could remove that, the tape like that, and then you have a frame around the outside, which makes it super cool. That work, that turns out like really interesting looking when you have the frame around it like that. But also just to show you guys that it really, you know, what you, what you do, uh, doesn't watch the slash track. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is remove this and um, just to show you, it really doesn't matter what happens to your art piece. Like I can maybe screenshot that if I wanna remember what it looks like. But the other thing is you can just like grab your leftover paint and just play with it. So that shows you that it really you just want to play like this would be like just a fun fun piece just to play around with like look at that cool effect when you do like spiral like kind of wiggly things on there and then you just want to like if we want to just use up our paint we can just use up our paint and play around with this and this is like sort of the best therapy ever is you just go in and just play around you can do all kinds of lines and all kinds of things. And if you end up with just a pile of, <laughs> of like paint that looks like nothing, that's totally fine too. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with this to play around with it. And that's it. I really like this iridescent paint too. So you could even just put it right on your canvas. And it looks so nice. Well, it's gonna, it's, not going to look nice anymore because I'm going to just play around with it. I'm just going to go ahead and just see about like how the transparency works. That's so interesting. And then the other thing is what I could do is cover the whole thing, kind of like what I did here, and then layer it again with the tape. So say we want to do that, we can get some more paint. Uh, where did I put my white? So here's, we're gonna get some white over here. And I'll get some of the colors that I really like. Like I like the, I like the cyan. Uh, that's the iridescent. Um, I have to find where I put all my paints now. So here's the ultramarine is nice. I like the purple one is nice. We're gonna get a little bit more of the purple and I'm just not sure where I put my, oh, here it is, the cyan. I really like the cyan blue. It's really nice. So then if we want, we can just like forget about those lines now and we can just like go in with our different colors and just play, okay? We can just play around and cover all of that up. And, you know, like last week I was saying, oh, maybe I'll just delete the video. I didn't end up deleting last week's video because it turned out all right. But, um, you know, if, if I do something that I really don't like, I could delete the video. Although I, I think I'm just going to keep playing with this because it's super fun. And that's the thing, like I said, with acrylic paint, you can just play. It doesn't really matter what the final product looks like. We can just, I'm just gonna go over all those tape lines now just for fun and just stay maybe in the blue family. Like maybe I'll just stay in the blue family a little bit. Maybe I'll leave a little bit of yellow showing through too. We can go like that. You can like move your canvas around. Doesn't always have to be in one position. We can go like that and just play around with it. 
I might keep a bit of a border there. Oh, I forgot about the purple. So we can go in there, put a little bit of the purple and just have fun with it. And then you never know what you're gonna put on top. Like, and I really like that iridescent. I'm gonna get a little bit more and get a little bit of that and just put a little bit of the iridescent in there. I really like that iridescent. I think it's super cool. I think it's really, really fun. And then you can also do like stenciling on this if you want. So many things you can do. You can do more like tape on there. I like very abstract work. So this doesn't bother me to have it like super abstract. Like I really, you know, that appeals to me. So, and you can do different kinds of brush strokes. You can do like this kind of stippling type of thing to have a little bit of variety. You can do like little lines. You could even get like, say the end of a paintbrush. You can like do little, this type of lines around that. There's so many things you can do just, just to play around with it and stuff. Let's go around and now I can get movement in there. You can look inside, see if you see anything interesting. And just like at this point, I'm just gonna like use up my paint and stuff and that's totally, totally fine. And then I also have these little pieces that I don't even know if I'm going to do anything with those but if I wanted to I could go back in with these pieces and put them on top although that kind of blends in so that might be useless you never know and you can also go in with black if you want to do more things with black but uh, that's it I'm just going to play I'm just going to have fun with it not too worried about what it ends up looking like and I might let that dry and then go in with my tape and do some other things on top. So I think I'm gonna just like leave that there. I'm gonna let it dry and then I might go in with my tape later and see what it does. So guys, I'm gonna uh, add a bit of purple. Yeah, I could definitely add more purple. I have, um, I have purple here. We can just put a little bit more on because I have some. And you could put like really thick strokes or you can just like do thin strokes. You can make them smooth. You can do like I said, the stippling things. There's there's so many things that you can do. But um, I think I'm gonna stop for now. So I'm gonna say goodbye. And uh, I will see you guys uh, the next time. Um, I might do a more like polished uh, thing next time. Oh, look at this. I could, I could also do that. You can just take this all the tape off of there. I'm going to put my those in there. You know what I like the look of? I'm going to remove this, but I always like the way these look like underneath there. So like, say you take this and we're just going to like smush them around a little bit because you never know what's going to do. So this is on saran wrap. I always put this on saran wrap on my plate. So we're going to go around like that. So this is on saran wrap. So what if we take this off? Okay. And I'm gonna lift it up and let's see how it looks on the other side because that's always interesting. So I'm gonna lift that up and this is what it looks like on the other side, which is really cool. So this is paint, acrylic paint under saran wrap, which is super cool. And we could even like go in and do this type of thing. You have to be fast though with acrylic paint because it, uh, it dries very quickly but say we do something like this i actually like the way that looks take a screenshot because it's not gonna last and what we can do you could leave it like that if you want or we can peel it off see what happens now it's got really really matte in there which is doesn't look as nice but it's all right i really like the way that looks that's cool so we're gonna get rid of that and then from here we can just go ahead, we can take this and just play around with it. Ding, 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 ding. Have a lot of fun. And just like, have fun guys. Just do anything that you want. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, if you wanna like completely ruin it, you can add water. You can play around with it and add water and go around with it, remove that. And honestly, it really does not matter. 
we're gonna play and play and play and play and play and play and then I'll probably just paint over it so that's totally fine I'm gonna do that around like that it's very addictive I'm telling you it's very very hard to stop for sure paint it black exactly you could just paint it black again and not even worry about it but this is an exercise in uh, letting go uh, not caring at all what the piece looks like and just like playing around with this and this actually reminds me of some paintings I did when I was like young like in preschool so I'm actually really really enjoying this because it's a very interesting creative project and you know don't use your best brushes don't use your you know your best canvas or anything but it's definitely fun to play around with and see what happens and if you work with a surface like that that's really wet and say you want to like see what happens if you add a bit of paint to it you can always you know even get a little bit of white and just play so there's all kinds of things you can do do different shapes highlights it's gonna be like gray but it doesn't matter get some little gray bits in there play around with it make it look like a landscape thing yeah, there's so many things you could do like I could spend hours on these things because you know I'm not gonna give it to anybody I'm not gonna show it to anyone just you guys are seeing it so it's just like super fun and very meditative just go with the flow and you can add some other colors if you want you could just go on for like paint some clouds Ooh, clouds would be cool too yeah we could try some clouds i'll need some more paint it's um it's maybe like on a stormy day or something i need my i just realized i didn't even use my my um paper towel yet to clean my brush so i'm gonna do that and we can just like yeah if you want to do clouds you can do that type of thing Okay, that could be cloudy. It's not the best brush for clouds. Let me see if I have a better brush. Let's see what I have. Maybe a smaller brush. Or the one that I had in here maybe is better. You should never leave your brushes in the water, but I just did, they're really bad brushes, so it doesn't really matter. So now, yeah, you can go in with your a different, like a more scruffy brush and do like some cloud things. At that I like that idea of the clouds it's cool yeah I got drip water on there by mistake so be like a really like stormy cloudy day go in there do that there we go yeah you could just go on forever and a lot of like most great paintings are done like over a large span of time so it's all it's all about the creative process and you know just taking your time with things let's put a little a little bit too much paint there but you can definitely play around with it and you can do like a kind of a scuffly type thing yeah there's definitely a lot you can do with this bring that right and just I need more of a scruffy brush to do that type of thing but yeah you can just go on forever and ever and ever so guys I'm gonna the clouds look amazing <laughs> thank you they got a little out of control but uh, that's it I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there but thanks for watching my craziness here and this is just a note to you guys just to have fun with it and um, and I will see you guys the next time so have a great, have a great night and we will talk to you soon. I have to figure out how to turn off the live stream now.